Hi everyone and welcome back to 5-Minute Family Search. So I just showed you how to fix a data problem that's related to a place and now I'd like to show you one that's related to a date and they're very easy to do. Like I said, it's just some little little thing that is in there that the computer is just not recognizing it as being in the system. And so I come over here and I see another one of those exclamation points. I'm just going to click on it and it tells me that she is missing a standardized birth date. And as we can see, she already has a birth year, but for some reason the computer is not liking it and so it's flagging it. So I am just going to click on her name and come down here to person. And when I do that, it's going to go back to the person page that we had looked at for a while for Felitas. And on here, when it comes up, I apologize for it being slow, we can look over here on the right hand side and it tells us missing standardized birth date. So we come back over to the vital information that we talked about previously and we come down to her birth. And I'm just going to click on it and it gives me the option to edit. And so I'm going to click edit. And here's our problem right here. No standard selected. Click here to select a date. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to come down here to what it's suggesting and I'm going to click on that and now it's correct. And I'm just going to click save down at the bottom of the screen. And now the, the problem is fixed. So now here is another problem I had told you about child born before the mother. And so that is another problem now that needs to be addressed. And that's a research problem that I need to go and I need to look through government records and I need to find out when Mary Polly was born and when her mother was born and do some research and find out that information. And then I can go in and I can fix those data problems and get that resolved. But that will be a completely separate search from what we've just been doing now. We were just been fixing a birth date problem, but now we actually need to go back through government records and be able to solve this data problem of the child being born before the mother was born.